What do we got today, Dad? Well, octopus. I am going to show you something very delicious. First step, salt bath. What does this do? To clean up all the, uh, to just kind of purify the octopus. With some of the smell, you know, because they, you know, they live in the bottom. It's like doing laundry, you know? Hello. So how much does this thing weigh, would you say? Well, this is about... Oh! oh fuck. <laughs> Holy shit, it's alive! It's about maybe almost 20 pounds. I'm pretty strong. Oh! oh. Next up. Ah, putting on a cutting board. So how much does one of these cost around? About 200 bucks. So much meat for the price. Pretty mm -hmm. good value. I know. So is there any part that you can't eat? Nope, except, you know, sometimes the shell of the mouth beak the beak pretty much you can eat everything i never see the head though people don't eat the head usually do they oh yeah they do this is a really good piece of uh, meat in it yeah how do you treat something like this well first of all you take them into sections of an octopus right there's one two legs so is this a giant octopus well this is not giant it's just a regular size but when they serve it in restaurants it's so yeah because small. they shrink octopus contain a lot of water so that makes it very chewy. You have to take all the water out so you keep the moisture so they could get tender. It's like having a tendon. That's it. That's a good word. The sea tendon. That's what it called. Yeah, you might think it's really big now, but once you cook it, you will see, hey, wait a second. How come they shrink so much? Because they contain lots of lots of water in their body. When they contain water, it means it's very chewy. So you want to take the water out. What I have here, I have some fennel, ferns, I have some marjoram, one is my one of my favorite herbs. And of course, lots of garlic. You know, with octopus, garlic is so essential. So the easy infused with the flavor. So you know, there are so many uh, cultures eat octopus. Middle Eastern, Mediterranean, and also African and Asian. It means the whole world actually eat octopus. And some shallots, three in there, just split in half. You don't bother to take the skin off. It's fine because flavor, we're gonna come out during the slow cooking. Chili, two pieces. Leave it the way it is. Don't touch it, don't smell it, don't open up. Just make sure it's clean. Skill the legs. You know why I'm doing that? I want to keep the legs nice and straight. So when I do presentation, so they're nice and straight like a little medallion. So it's one of those technical things, you know, chef knows. Not everybody knows, but chef knows because you know why? Because we've been cooking for this kind of products for, you know, many, many times. Plop it in. Portuguese octopus, Portuguese olive oil. Cheese! Coffee is like cooking oil. It means, you know, you're tenderizing. Slow cook. There's no air, right? Now I'm going to surround wrap this very, very tight. No air goes in there. Now I'm just wrapping up like a baby. Now I want to make sure nice and tight. So I'm just going to use a butcher's ring to seal the edges. Now I have foil. Cover it up, very nice and tight. Now I'm going to use another string. In the oven we go. Octopus. We're going to take it out. Oh, heavy. Oh, heavy. heavy. Now we're going outside. I'm going to show you the real thing. Look at the color of this. One, two, three, four, five. So now we have five confit of octopus. I want to just... Mm -hmm. See, grilling is about checking. Testing, checking, watching, smelling it, and also tasting it. Because this has already been cooked, what you need is the chart that we are looking for. You see this color of the chart? The charcoal give a very nice smoky flavor, smokiness but at the same time, it dries out the body. So when you eat octopus, you have that crispiness from the outside, very tender inside, and that's what you're looking for. Listen children, it's not finished yet. There are many kinds of chimichurri. I'm gonna use black garlic, a little mustier, a little more pungent, and also, you know what? The flavor is gonna be so robust. The trick is, there's one thing I add on, which a lot of people don't, and I'm gonna show you. I have garlic. Oh, I don't need garlic. What am I doing? I have black garlic. Yeah, this garlic. 
You know what? I think it does need a little bit of fresh garlic in there. You know what? I'm going to change my mind. That's what cooking is all about. You know, sometimes you think about while you're cooking is also you're tasting it while you're cooking. Imagining tasting it. Say to yourself, hmm, you know what? A little bit of that would taste good. You know, because I know what it tastes like when the garlic is fresh. Can you explain the difference between the two? Uh, one garlic is fermented. Mmm, I love the smell. And also it has a little bit of bitterness, but that bitterness is actually sweet. Garlic down. Cut, cut, cut. Goes down. This is a uh, fresh Italian parsley. And this is my weapon. A little bit of lemon zest has changed the whole game. Just kind of mince it up a little bit. Lemon zest goes down. Salt. Got some red wine vinegar. Lemon juice. Without yeah. chili, it's not chimichurri. Seed off. I just scrape everything out. Mince. Goes down. Stir, stir, stir. I, I would claim this is one of my best sauces. I have some sun-dried tomato garlic butter. Just gently brush it on. You know, give another dimension of, uh, of flavor. Now I'm going to final plating or presentation. See the skewer help to give them nice and straight. It's like the acupuncture of an octopus. Chimichurri. You know, this, this sauce is so good. Even, you know, you want to use it with roast chicken. I think pine is such a neutral. We got our finished plate here. I'm not going to be eating because I'm not hungry. So go ahead. You're not hungry? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect bite. Mm. I think that is one of your best sauces. Yeah. You know what? I can't wait for a second one. What's the benefits of octopus? Like, what's unique about it? Well, high in protein. It's very meaty. That's the word. It's like a steak from the ocean. Octopus a success? Mmm. Call me Dr. Octavius. Say it one more time. Octavius? Octavius. Call me Dr. Octavius. Octavius. Call me Dr. Octavius. V with a V. O Octavius. Call me Dr. O Call me Dr. O o Octavius. One more time. Call me Dr. Octavius. <laughs> Call me Dr. Octavius, me, Octavius, Dr. Octavius. Call me Dr. Octavius. Hey, call me Dr. Otto Octavius. Call me Dr. Otto Octavius. Otto, Otto Octavius. Call me Otto Octavius. Dr. Otto Octavius. I can't do it. Dr. Otto, Dr. Otto, Otto, Dr. Otto Octavius. Octavius. So no. That's perfect, right? One more. Dr. October Otto Octavius. Dr. October wait, wait, the month. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> is it? Yes, that's the full name. Oh, oh, oh. Dr. Octavius. October. Dr. Octo Dr. Octavia. Dr. October. Otto. Otto Octavius. Dr. October Octavius. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs>